Right, I'm up on Kevin Bridge. As you see the old uh, quarry line down the bottom but there. Put up on the bridge. Hell of a drop to a cliff there. And I take over now to the what place they call in the girl, that's the ferns. Down by for sight for claws, looping claws. And uh, which could go back a few thousand years. So I'm gonna take away now, see what we think of uh, what I found. Right, I'm gonna jump over this way. Just come over Kevin Bridge. I'm gonna take you to the ferns. You could have come up beside the Kawafa Hill, parked up over by Forsyth for Claws, and walked down to it. But that uh, means I'm up near Kevin, I thought I'd come this way. It's quicker. So I'll take you now to the old ruins or something. You see some sort of strange mountain again with all stones on. Really overgrown, all the stuff. Big stones. Could have been a mound of some sort. Back in the trough, as you can see, the path. There's an old track here. Stone path. So something was going on up there. It was rather Romany, if you look at that. Head straight across. Headed down the path again to the right. Looks like another big mound again. Trying to go a bit closer inside. A big mound again. Another mound. I said this is in the middle of nowhere. We have banks and we got two big mounds. A lot of big huge stones around the place. We're gonna head up that hill now. Of course the big mound. Right we're out on the open like I said for safe years up above there. And This is what we come to look at. I don't know if good we can get it on camera. Here we can see the side of it. It's all been cut, quarried. If you look straight we are now, straight ahead. This is all one big ditch going up here, like some sort of burrow going all the way around. Show you a better now. Could possible entrance in. If you look behind there's the looks like the way in we are. No grass. As you can see it goes all the way around. This burrow at the front. Goes all the way around there as well. So this is like one big huge mound. But if you look behind, you come up a bit then. If I go back a bit, you can see a wall halfway through the mound. I haven't exposed it. This wall goes all the way around. You can still see it going now. It can be exposed in the summer traps. Get a better angle of it. Coming up, going all the way up across here. Look at it, there's the wall still going behind, it's bending round, coming across, still a bit chipper there, comes into the front of this. Another old feature behind. We've got old school concrete. Shells, anything chucked in. But if you notice how old that bar is, looks like it even goes back to the Bronze Age, Ryan. 
like I said, for the things, corners, you got stone for shuttering, some sort of a uh, post. This is the front of it. As you can see, the wall, here's the wall again, the same one. This is on top of the barrel now, going all the way. So this wall follows it all the way around there to where we was earlier. Very strange. It goes all the way in, right up to beer. Still go in. A lot of quarry stones on our side. And here's on top of the mound here. Footpaths making their way upwards. So we're going to follow up there now and I'll show you a little, uh, well, not chamber, looks like a bag left there, tomb, but. Could be natural, but we'll have a look now. We're going to head up a path this way. Right, we walked up the path. As you can see, it still goes ahead. But this path takes you right, turn in. So there's a lot of quarry stones there, which would be an ideal for a whole stone ridge settlement. But if you look over here, Could be natural. You got like a an old megalithic stone chamber. Looks like it's natural, come from the rocks. We just balance up the top of that one. And that one's balanced on top of that one. Can't really see inside it. There's a few brambles there today. Go across beer then. You've got absolutely massive stones here, as you can see. As you can see, like I said, I keep on going across. Loads of quarry stones again. Tons of them. And straight ahead west is basically where that uh, big mound is. You can actually see how big it is now. Absolutely massive. The head back down to the mound now. Not much to show up here, but. Big stones again, like I said. No doubt whatsoever that someone would have st stayed in here. We had a few stories about Gurners boys sleeping here drunk in these uh, little tomb. The, we'll try and get up to the little one for a closer look. To see what's in there. Very small, like I said. A lot of stones in that uh, crystal in that rock. Like I said, it looks balanced on that. That looks natural. Who knows? I'm going to head back down now to the mountain. I'm just heading back down the path now. Another path. And I've noticed that where I was, where it seemed to stop over there earlier, it is now the wall, if you can see it, going all the way round to the other side as well. So how big this mound is, I think if this was cleaned up, we could be all exposed and we could actually see how big it is. But looking roughly, you're looking at over 100 foot from one side to the other. So which could be a major discovery from over Tidville and I mean if G got could have a look at it maybe they could und undiscover something, excavate it but uh, the mound's usually as big it's uh, a burial tomb or something so who knows, someone might be here but uh, 
I'm going to head back down another path and show you the size of the rocks which have been cut out and over there. Right, and now at the bottom of the path, as you can see, some of the massive stones which I've put there, all on the one side. Last you can see now the ditch coming all the way across here. I've noticed now at the bottom of this path, if you can get a look, it's still going around there. It's curving, that's how big it is. And see, so you've got paths going straight up through it, and it's going all the way around there. So, very interesting. I think that's about it for now. We're going to head back to the car.